Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at what you're doing wrong because Excel is not a calculator. Let's have a look at this problem here. I have a cost price and a commission and the markup is calculated on the total of cost price and commission. Now if we're doing this on a calculator, this is how we would do it. We would type in our 24, we would hit the plus sign and then we would type in our 350 and then we would multiply all of this by 0.5 which is 50% and we'd come out with the answer of 13.75. Let's have a look at doing that the same way in Excel. I'm going to hit the equal sign to start a formula. I'm going to arrow across, go to my cost price, add a plus sign and go to my commission and then multiply by the markup. And you can see that the answer that we're getting here is very different to the answer that we got on the calculator. The calculator's right, Excel's wrong. So what's happening inside Excel? Let's have a look at this. I have this formula selected. I'm on the formulas bar here and there's an option here for evaluate formula. And that just helps us understand what's actually going on here because Excel's going to work through this formula step by step to show us what it's doing. So I'm going to click on evaluate and you can see that the first cell reference here has been replaced by the actual value in the cell. Now Excel's going to replace C4 with 350 and then D4 with 0.5 and then it's going to tell us what it's going to do next and this is where the problem is. It's going to multiply 3.5 by 0.5, not the sum. So it's doing the multiplication before it does the addition. Now there's a very good reason for this and it's called order of precedence. And basically what the order of precedence says that's important to us in this situation is that multiplications or divisions need to be done before additions and subtractions. So Excel is calculating commission by markup before it does the addition because this is a multiplication. So what can we do to fix the problem and make the answer in Excel correct and so that it agrees with the calculator. What we're going to do is we're going to force this calculation here to be done first and we put it in brackets because the other part of that order of precedence rule that's important to us here is that brackets override the natural order. So if something is in brackets it's done before multiplication and division. So what we're going to do is add the cost price and the commission and then multiply by the markup. And when I press enter we get an answer of 13.75 which is exactly the same answer as we got through the calculator. There are two things to be aware of here and that is if you don't understand order of precedence then you want to be doing simple calculations like this on a calculator as well as in Excel until you are able to write these formulas without making mistakes. It's always a good idea when you're learning Excel to also crank up a calculator and just make sure that the answers that you're getting are correct because it's all too easy to write what you think is a good formula and not check it and actually end up with totally wrong answers you're going to look like you don't know what you're doing and in all honesty you don't. But cranking up a calculator, making these comparisons and getting things right, well you're on the way to becoming a master of Excel. If you like carefully researched content like this, clearly presented in a step-by-step -step format so that you can get great results every time, then you'll love my other YouTube videos. So give this video a thumbs up and click to subscribe to the channel. And on the screen now, you'll see a video that I've handpicked for you to watch next.